This is an ultrasound study of a cirrhotic liver. Main thing which I would like to discuss with you is that uh, this is uh, the total span of the liver that uh, is uh, normally seen and reported. This is the hemidiaphragm right, this is the gallbladder, this is the outer surface of the liver, this is the cirrhotic liver, this is the fluid surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Now, the norm is that uh, you may have the liver in this session. Now, if the normal measurement is from 12 cm to 16 cm, keeping that in view, this liver is uh, shrunken or uh, showing generalized reduced to total surface area and measuring 11.7, this is 11.7 cm. So, less than 12 means that this is a shrunken liver. Now, I have uh, my own method of reporting the liver uh, that I have named uh, as Dr. Tahir's uh, method of measuring the liver. Now, if we take this one as uh, total uh, span of the liver, then what about uh, this portion? The left lobe of the liver. We don't take it consideration into, into consideration the left lobe. As for example, the lumbasa left. Lumbasa. Lumbasa. Now this is the right lobe, and this is the left lobe. Now if this is the right lobe of the liver, then this is the left lobe of the liver. How will you combine both of these? It's not possible. So what I generally report is, uh, that uh, I am seeing a general uh, a, a liver in which the right lobe of the liver sh is, uh, shows generalized reduced total surface area, whereas the left lobe of the liver is within normal dimensions. This is the quadrant lobe. This is the ligament of venosum. I will see. So this is the left lobe of the liver. This is the right lobe of the liver. So now, uh, it always report, this is the uh, hemidiaphragm, right, hemidiaphragm. It's better to report that uh, we are seeing, now this is the transfer section of the, this is the transfer section of the left lobe of the liver, this one. Always try to report, it will be better that uh, uh, if you have to, uh, when, we, when we have to report the measurement of the liver or span of the liver, then say that uh, uh, there is generalized reduced total surface area of the right lobe with the left lobe uh, seen normal in dimensions. In some cases, you will see that uh, there will be generalized reduced total surface area of the right lobe, whereas the, the left lobe will be enlarged. Now, this is not an, uh, we don't see an enlarged left lobe in this case, and this is my method of the Dr. Tan's method of reporting the span of the liver. It is because, you know, with the uh, uh, real time, we cannot uh, measure the liver in centimeter or millimeters. It is by A mode, preferably, in which we can report the liver in millimeter or centimeters. So with this technique, with 2D, two-dimensional, real-time ultrasound, it is really not possible to report the liver in uh, centimeters or millimeters and should not be done like that. You see now here, I am trying to get both uh, right and left together. So if you see that the right loop of the liver is this much, and this is the left lobe. This is the left, uh, right portal vein, left portal vein, and uh, the ascending part of the left portal vein. So this is the left portal vein, this is the left lobe of the liver, this is the quadrant lobe in transfer section, the ligament terminosum, the IVC in transfer section. So this is the left lobe of the liver. Now, this is the right lobe of the liver, this is the median lobe or fissure, 
that uh, uh, the, uh, the demarcates <coughs> the right and left uh, lobe of the liver, and uh, here you will see the gallbladder, and at its other end it's attached with the right portal vein. As you see, this uh, median lobe of fissure is coming down and is being seen with the anterior margin of the uh, right portal vein. So it's always better to report that uh, you are seeing a river that has generalized reduced to the surface area uh, with normal left lobe of the liver. At times you will see the liver exceeding the origin of the uh, superior mesenteric artery from the aorta, this one, if we exceed this uh, portion, it will, you can see up to here, then you will, you will, you will say that the right uh, portal, right liver shows generally reduced to the surface area and that the left lobe is enlarged. At times you will see normal right and left lobes, at times you may see uh, both <coughs> lobes enlarged, even in cirrhotic liver. So this is my method of reporting the liver. Instead of reporting in uh, centimeters or millimeters, I prefer reporting in uh, the way I have told you. That is Dr. Tahir's method of reporting the liver in the span of the liver. This is the discarded method. They say that we can measure the liver in total by even by real molar ultrasound. Uh, a, if the liver is shrunken, but then if this is shrunken, fine enough, this right, uh, this is measuring 11.1, much less than 12 centimeters. But what about this lobe? You are in fact measuring this one. The right. Okay. So, uh, so, I will request you to uh, follow my method of uh, reporting the liver span, whether it's uh, with the normal limits, and if it is uh, cirrhotic, then either it is in normal dimension or minimally enlarged, both lobes are enlarged, either one is enlarged, other is shrunken, and that you can do only by the method I have used. Thank you.